hello everyone welcome to today's video and in today's video i'll be talking about the null pointer exception we normally get this error in apex and and this is a very most common error we normally get and no matter if you're a fresher or an experienced person this is a very common error because uh, because the behavior of error is very uh, you know very basic and sometimes it gives you nasty results and you you know it is kind of difficult to identify why you are getting this error you have done everything correct in your code yet you are getting this error so it is very important to understand that when we get this kind of error so error structure is like that you will get a system error that the null pointer exception trying to dereference a null object on line number this and column number this okay the moment you get this error you need to you know you you will start debugging so start debugging from the line on which you are getting error you see that what you're using on that line if there is a list or there is a variable so there are multiple variables you're trying to refer you need to put a debug statement of e on each and every uh, you know variable or list most of the time what happens is that we try to iterate over a list but list is empty or list is not getting value because of the couple of variables who are empty which we were referring in a SQL query so you need to go back and see the base and uh, see the you know source of those uh, variables you might have defined a variable but have not assigned any value to it or the value is null undefined value so try to try to see the origin of those variables and see if you have declared a variable which has not been instantiated yet so try to uh, debug in that way if we if we try to understand this error in more you know simpler word uh, uh, for an example let's say if i ask you to give me you know four chocolates out of a chocolate box and then when you try to go to and try to fetch the chocolates from the box you found out that there is no chocolates at all so that that happened with the computer if you give a computer to instruction to find something from let's say a list and when computer tries to fetch that particular value from the list he found uh, he he he, try, he when he tries to find that value he found that there is no value at all so then computer you know gives you an instruction that he's trying to find something which or you have instructed computer to find something which uh, from a container which does not have a value at all so that is why computer tells you these kind of errors so that you can debug it and correct your code this is uh, not a very difficult error but still sometimes if there are multiple variables or you're calling a class from a different class and you are not very sure about the structure or hierarchy of the classes then sometimes it might be very difficult for you to debug it in a, in a large organization but the whole and soul and crux of this error is that there must be a variable or a list which you have declared but have not assigned any value or they have not been instantiated properly so try to debug it in that way i'm trying to cover a couple of more uh, uh, apex normal apex error uh, most common apex error in this error series videos and uh, 